If you are selling or promoting products on TikTok shop, you probably have heard of two popular tools, Calo Data and FastMask. But which one is actually better for you? In this video, I'll break down the key differences between the two, Calo Data and FastMask, which one's better for TikTok sellers, and which one's better for TikTok affiliates. If you're serious about TikTok shop, randomly selecting products doesn't work anymore. The biggest advantage you can have is the right information, knowing exactly which products are trending and why. That's why using the right product research tool makes all the difference. Let's start with Calo Data, which I mainly use as a TikTok shop affiliate. So here is the main dashboard of Calo Data. The interface is super intuitive and user-friendly. You can browse by the different category, the top creators, as well as the top products. So let's come to the product tab, and here's where you can find the top selling products. You can narrow down the search by using the filters on the left-hand side. So to find winning products, I like to use the following criteria. For the date range, I like to select either seven days or the last 30 days. So for this example, I'll just go with the last seven days. I would select the category that I sell in. For revenue, I will put down at least $1,000 minimum. Click apply. Revenue growth rate, I will set it as minimum 10%. In terms of the average unit price, I like to go with minimum $15 to maximum of $75. And if you are promoting products as a TikTok shop affiliate, you can also sort by the commission rate. And after you set your filters, you can just click on submit. So here we're looking at the results according to our filters. You can look at the revenue generated for each product, the revenue graph, the revenue growth rate, the number of items sold, the average unit price, the commission rate, and also the highest revenue videos. So everything is super clear. And let's say if you have identified a potential winner, you can just click on the product and then it'll take you to the product detail page. We can see the ratings and reviews, price, the commission rate, the seller information, and in the middle, we can see the core metrics. So this product in the last seven days has generated over $533,000 and sold over 7,000 items. So this seems to be a really hot product. And on the graph here, you can see that it's taken off rather quickly. And when you scroll down, you can see the exact creators who are promoting the products. So for example, this creator has generated over $181,000 in revenue in the last seven days. So we can click on this. So let's scroll down. And this appears to be the video. Oh, I've been waiting for that. I got something new. This is the Shark Mess Master. Well, three of them. And it has what they call no suction loss technology. What it doesn't have is one of these. It has no centralized filtration system, so it never loses suction power. <laughs> Ever. It has an easy to remove bin that also has a trash bag holder on it. So you can actually put a bag in here, suck everything into the bag, and then just throw it away. You can use just about any bag, or you can use one of the ones that comes with it. It's got a nice heavy duty latch right on the front. The hose actually stores neatly, wrapping it around the top. So the format of this video is like a product review video. And the commission rate for this product is 18%. So if we take 111,000 and times it by 18%, this creator generated close to $20,000 of profit just from this video alone. If you want to export the script, you can do it here. And you can also use the AI function to optimize the script. So let's exit this. Let's come back to this page and we can scroll down here. And let's say if you need more content ideas so you can create more content about this product, you can also look at the video and ad section. You can literally see which video is getting results. So these are all different videos and these are all the respective revenue and also respective views. So the idea is to look at what's already proven to work, take those same elements and apply it to your own content. And then your video would have a high chance of doing well too. So Calo Data is really great for finding winning products products for TikTok affiliates and also to find content ideas that are proven to convert well. Now, if you are a TikTok seller looking for winning products to list or to private label yourself, then that's where FastMask can really shine. So let's jump over to FastMask. So here we're looking at the main dashboard of FastMask. You can find many of the similar data here. You can search by the top products, the top creators, the top TikTok shops, as well as the most popular ads and also the most popular e-commerce videos. In terms of the interface, I do personally find it easier to navigate on Calo data. For example, when I go to narrow down my searches, I find that Calo data uh, do have better filtering options. But one 
one advantage for fast mask is that they do have a wider range of statistics that I think is especially beneficial for TikTok sellers. For example, you can see a lot of the useful market data in the market insights. You can see the overall sales volume across different categories and spot which niches are gaining momentum. There is an ad search where you can see the most popular advertisements and they also have data on TikTok shop agencies as well. So I like using fast mask when I'm thinking like a TikTok seller because it gives me the deeper look into the overall market. So here's a quick recap. If you are a TikTok shop affiliate, then I think Calo data is the better option. The user interface is more straightforward and the filtering options are better. You can easily see what products are going viral, who's promoting them, and what kind of videos are working. On the other hand, if you are a TikTok shop seller, I think FastMods can give you a better big picture view. You can see more market insights and sales trends data, which is really helpful for choosing what to sell on the platform. So personally, I use both. I use Calendar data when I'm researching affiliate products or content ideas, and I use FastMods when I'm looking at things from a seller's perspective. At the end of the day, they're both really powerful TikTok shop research tools. They just serve slightly different purposes. And which one is better ultimately depends on your personal preference as well. But the good news is though, both of them do offer free trials. So you don't really have to choose one or the other. You can try them both to see which one works better for you. I will include both direct links to Calo Data and FastMask below if you want to check them out yourself. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.